studio. Did you manage to find any samples? Indeed we did, Bob. Our mission was most successful. Uploading the photographs now. For our mission, we selected a random house on an average street, parents, children, one cat and a dog. But you'd be surprised what else we found living there. <laughs> what is that? Oh, this is a bed bug, which we found in the bedroom, unsurprisingly. <laughs> you can get up to 150,000 living on a double bed. That is a flower mite, invisible to the naked eye. We found it crawling across a bowl of breakfast cereal. Ah, and that one? Oh, this is an itch mite. Lives on the back of cats and dogs, causes no end of bother. Absolutely fascinating. Huh. Oh, it's the worst one yet. Where'd you find that? Uh, I don't recall. We didn't. We didn't find that in the house, did we? Where did we? Where did we find that one again? Is it Mark's head. Ah, uh, yeah. What? Mark's yeah. head. Yeah, it's a head louse, actually. Their eggs are commonly known as nits, and they live right there in the scalp. Yeah. I mean, I shouldn't worry too much. Nothing good going over with a nit comb won't sort out. Uh, that'll be what all the scratching is about. I've got monsters living in my, my beautiful hair. This is horrible. What am I going to do? Professor, is that really necessary? Don't even think about it. There are things living on me. What am I going to do? I'm going to end up bald looking like Bob if I'm not careful. Well, don't worry, Mark. It's the same for all living creatures. But most micro-creatures don't mean you any harm. Some are actually vital to keep you healthy. There are minuscule organisms called bacteria, much, much smaller than the tiniest creepy crawly. And the human body is a great place for them to live. Are you looking for a holiday with a difference? Then look no further and join us for the number one bacteria break of a lifetime on board the human body. Enjoy a walking tour of the skin. Feel free to snack on the oil or any bits of dead skin you find lying around, but watch out. In some teenagers, the skin pumps out a lot of oil a day, so it can get a little bit slippery. Or why not visit the enchanting human hair forest? Remember to bring your camera. You might be lucky enough to spot a hair louse or the notoriously shy mite. In the evenings, dine on delicious fresh dandruff, washed down with the local tipple of choice, sweat. It's full of all the salt, sugar, and minerals bacteria need to stay healthy. It's the perfect holiday break for all bacteria, young and old. But don't take my word for it. Just listen to these testimonials. Oh, we loved it, didn't we? We especially love seeing all those erupting volcanoes on the face. They were really exciting. All that fun. Oh, it was perfect relaxing getaway. We actually managed to fit in an afternoon trip along the dog's back too. Oh, it was just terrific. Oh, well... An amoeba ate my friend on the first day, um, which put a bit of a downer on things. But the rest of the week was great. I would give it um, two thumbs up. You see, the human body has so much to offer bacteria, from the mouth to the toenails. So why not book your holiday today? We can't wait for you to join us. Prepare yourself for an insane look at what they don't tell you in the science books. From inner space to the universe, we're on a case to face the worst. It's icky and it's whiffy and it's yucky and it's squishy, but we love it.